Beyond subsistence farming and cattle ranching, Sedona's first industry was fruit orchards. This was possible here with the water from Oak Creek, one of the few Arizona streams that runs all year. They dug ditches and laid pipes to carry water to their trees. At the Red Rock Crossing, the Shermans raised grapes for wine. Up in Oak Creek Canyon at Slide Rock, the Pendleys raised apples, peaches, and grapes. Right here in what's now Sedona Heritage Museum, Walter and Ruth Jordan raised apples and peaches, as did Walter's brother George Jordan, whose orchard operation was where the Sedona Art Center is now. The Jordans grew several varieties, including some hybrids they developed to withstand our summer sun. Orcharding in those days was a difficult job, requiring constant attention and a lot of labor. But it offered the industrious farmers a good living, better than most in this area during the 1930s and 40s. There was a ready market for fruit in the miners at Jerome, the loggers and the railroaders in Flagstaff, and in Phoenix. During World War II, the Jordans shipped fruit to other parts of the U.S. and even to troops overseas. In another short video here, you can see a demonstration of how the Jordans handled their fruit with a big sorting machine. A sideline of the orchard industry was beekeeping and the production of honey. The bees helped to pollinate the trees, so this sideline was a natural. The farmers gathered the honeycombs and extracted the honey in machines like this. Cider, usually made from second grade apples, was also a profitable byproduct. If you're here at the right time in harvest season, you might sample the extraordinary flavor of the Jordan's apples or peaches from our own orchard at Sedona Heritage Museum. <laughs>